Hey guys, uh, it's Surfish in 275. Going to the beach in 10 days. Um, this weekend, my uncle's gonna take my tackle bag and my surf rod. I'm gonna take my two rods. So, I'm not gonna have any um, more saltwater videos because it's all packed, it's all in the tackle box or tackle bag. But I did pick up some new lures today at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm gonna show them to you. First, um, uh, lure I picked up today. Rapala jointed minnow. Jointed well they just call it jointed. I say jointed minnow. This is um uh J eleven. This is a, it says on the on the uh, stomach of it. You probably yeah, you can't see it with this. It says J eleven. You might see it a little bit there. No. Uh, this is the pike color though. Catch on this, you can catch pike is pikey pike and this is a good size for smaller to medium sized pike catch bass well, large bass on that catch pickerel you know smaller musky you're not going to catch anything under a bass though with that so it comes in the red rapala jointed box then we're moving on to the rapala dives to fat series three this is in silver color you know it it's fatter. It looks like it almost has cheeks where the gills would be. It's very fat. Very wide profile. Look at the top of it. Very wide profile. It's a squared bill bait. Squared bill bait. It's a shallow runner. It'll run, um, you know, zero to three feet. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. I didn't tell you. The jointed. Look at how wide that is up top. And it'll run four to eight feet. Usually the jointed minnows in the original floaters, they say they run like four to whatever, but they usually run right under the surface. The not more of the jointed than the original floater. The floaters do run true to their depth, but not the jointed usually are right under the surface. Um that was silver color, that DT three fat. This right here, DT three DT fat three, um, square bill. Fire tiger color. That's a neat color. Rapala fire tigers are not like any other fire tigers, which I like. This is a unique fire tiger. For the crankbaits, it's a unique fire tiger. Their husky jerks and their original floaters in there. Jointed are a regular or a regular fire tiger, but these aren't. Um right here got another DT Fat 3. Ow, I just hooked myself. Huh. I got it off. This is a uh, hot mustard color. Um, square bill again, just runs zero to three feet. Wide profile, same as the other two, not much to say. And last, but definitely not least, the lore that started it all. I got another one of these. I love these baits. The lore that started it all. Mr. Rapwood did not know that this would be the lore that started it all for him. The Rapwood original floatant. It says original floatant. Some people have it online as the original floating minnow, original floater, original floating, original floatant. Mr. Rap will design this bait. Um, it comes in that turquoise box. This is Chartreuse Bleeding Shad. This is their new bleeding series line of baits. And I believe full heartedly that these will work. This is my first bleeding series bait. Took a look at it, Dick Sporting Goods. I was really only going to buy the silver and the hot mustard, but they were 20% off all Rapala lures there until the 19th, and I had, if you bought $25 worth of stuff, you get $10 off, so I only had 20 bucks with me, but I'm like, get $10 off, that'll be 15 so, you know, picked up a couple more, can't go wrong with Rapala, I believe full-heartedly in Rapala, Strike King, Boot, um, Bomber, Cotton Cordell, Rapala, if you're if you're a crankbait fish, if you're a serious crankbait fisherman, you gotta go with Rapala. Really, Rapala is just the way to go. You spend a couple extra bucks compared to Stray King that are five nine or four, four five bucks. You spend seven bucks or eight bucks. They're gonna last you a longer time. They're well bolstered, constructed, and you know you replace the treble hooks what once every two years or something, which is great. The bodies never break. If the bill breaks, you know, you can replace the bill, but just go buy another one. I'd rather just go buy another one than replace the bill. The bodies never break. They're 
great balls to construct, even if they get hit by a muskie or pickerel or whatever, they're still great. These baits are amazingly strong, and they're, they're not going to break on you like a bomber or a strike king, and that's why I only buy Rapala. I see people who, you know, buy all other stuff, but Rapala is just so well constructed, and for the extra money, if you're serious about crankbait fishing, buy it with the extra money. Two dollars isn't going to make or break you. Like, I know the economy is bad now, but it's not going to make or break your budget. If if you already are in debt, or you know that you're going to be in debt soon, then obviously don't buy a rap with bait. But, you know, if you have the extra money, if you have the extra two dollars, hell, just go out and buy it. I'm going off on a little tangent here on Rapala. I, I'm so... I need certain baits. Like, I only buy a couple brands of soft plastics. I buy Strike King, Yum, Zoom, Gary Yamamoto, and Berkeley. I don't buy, like, the Trigger X's and the Robo Worms and the Re Reaction Strike. I'm, I'm not a guy to experiment. I know what works around here. I've already experimented. So, if it works for you buy it but most of the lakes Rapala works there the wobble and everything is perfect I experimented around here people tell me oh Rapala what are you buying that so expensive well it works I'm not gonna buy Strike King and buy 20 and none of them work I'm gonna buy Rapala where I can buy seven I can buy them all in the same color I mean not all in the same color and I'm like anal about this shit man I buy every color of Rapala that there is available because I believe in Rapala full heartedly, and I'm a big crankbait fisherman, so if one color doesn't work, I'll believe the other colors will work. So I have to have all the colors, man. That's what I'm trying for. I use crankbaits and jerkbaits and ripbaits more than anything. So that is why I buy all the colors and stuff. I'm working towards that. I have a paper that I have stuff to buy, and it's like thousands of dollars worth of stuff. I'm going to get a job this year. Hopefully pay me a decent amount of money, you know, up at a college, cleaning dishes and stuff. So, I mean, I'm actually going to get pretty nice pay up there. Hopefully I can start a job, put some money towards a car and a boat, or a truck and a boat, and buy my baits also. Spinner baits, I only buy Booyah, Terminator, War Eagle. Um, what else? Jigs, I like Booyah. Well, jigs I'm not picky with. But yeah, but that's basically the stuff that I'm picky with. Um, stinkers and hooks, I must, must I, Gamakatsu owner, you know, whatever. Um, but that is the new baits that I got to do, crank baits. Uh, hope you liked. See you later. Please comment, rate, like, subscribe.